Namaste to all. The question that comes to me often in the YouTube based on my videos that God cannot take avatar or God does not take avatar. The question is you are limiting Almighty God that he cannot do this, he cannot do that etc. It is impossible that you cannot limit Almighty God and if Almighty God wishes to take avatar, he can take avatar is the question or the comments from the YouTube viewers. Uh, I would like to clarify something that Almighty God very clearly says in the Vedas because why I refer always to the Vedas is because Almighty God gives the knowledge of Vedas to the four rishis when this universe was made. Knowledge is never attained unless it is given by someone else. So Almighty God gives the knowledge of Vedas to the humans and Almighty God gives introduction about himself in the Vedas only. He says this is what I am and this is what I am not and this is what I do etc so do which are those things which god cannot do god cannot kill himself god cannot become ignorant god cannot make another god equal to himself god cannot come in sins commit sins such as adulteries or god cannot do injustice god cannot do partiality god cannot suffer pains and god cannot take birth so these are some of his fundamental unchangeable qualities. Why God cannot take birth? So Maharshi Dhanan Saraswati beautifully writes in the uh, Satyartha Prakash. He says, God is formless always. If he has possessed a form, how could he be all pervading? Had he not been all pervading, he could not have had attributes such as omniscience. Every finite thing in this universe has finite attributes finite activities and finite nature besides a god with form could not have been free from such limitations such as cold heat hunger thirst disease impurities piercing cuts etc etc this proves that almighty god is formless if he were to have a body then there should be someone else as the creator of his nose ears eyes etc if anybody suggests that God might himself have created his body with his own will, then too it supports the view for in that case that God must have been formless before the creation of his own body. Therefore, God never assumes the body but in his formless condition converts the fine and invisible material of the world into gross and visible form. What a beautiful explanation. I hope you understood. Thank you so much. Namaste. Oh.